Building your family tree can be simple and fun. Even your family members who are not interested in genealogy will want to join and view the family tree. Gene Tree's Family Tree Builder is easy to use with a vibrant appearance that will attract your family members of any age. So be patient and enjoy building. Your family tree will begin with you and those you have already declared relation to when you signed up for Gene Tree. You can click on any of the yellow arrows to start adding. When you scroll over the yellow arrows, it will alert you as to what relative you are able to add from that arrow. Click on the appropriate box of the type of relative you would like to add. A box will appear for you to fill in the information needed about the person you are adding to your family tree. Enter their first and last name, if they are living or deceased, their birthday and death date if it applies. You have the option to enter their email address. If you would like to invite them to your family tree, simply click the checkbox next to the email address and click Add. An email will be sent to that relative inviting them to join and view your family tree. Once you click Add, your family tree will adjust to show the newly added relative. You will notice the new person added also has yellow arrows. You can add family members onto any person's tree using these yellow arrows to guide you. Once you have added your relatives, your tree will look something like this. The upper left corner shows you whose tree you are currently looking at, the number of people in the tree, and the number of generations in that tree. You can also tell whose tree you are looking at based on whose display is white instead of pink or blue. To switch whose tree you are viewing, simply click on the tree link to the right of their picture. The upper left corner will keep a breadcrumb trail to remind you whose view of the tree you have recently looked at. If you would like to edit one of your family member's information, simply click on Edit. An information box will pop up for you to enter or change as much as you would like about the person. You will notice that if that person has a Gene Tree account, some of the information is automatically entered based on their Gene Tree profile. If you would like to visit the Gene Tree profile page of someone in your family tree, you may click on their name or click on More, then View Profile. The Remove Person option is only available to someone who doesn't connect anyone else to that tree. These are safe to delete because they won't cause any other people to lose their connection to the family. Each person has a status line under their name. For some, there is an email address line for you to invite them to your family tree, and then it will switch to Invitation Pending until they accept your invitation. Once they have accepted your invitation, their status will say Active Member. If they have not been invited or have not yet accepted the invitation, you are able to change their photo by scrolling over their picture and clicking on it. You can then choose whatever photo you would like for that person's profile. As your tree gets larger and larger, you will need help adjusting to view certain portions of the family tree. To zoom in or out or move around on the page, you may click on the navigation tools on the left, or you can click in the dead space of the tree with the hand to grab and move the tree to the section you would like to view. You can also click on the tools in the bottom right corner. When you click on Preferences, a box will appear in the bottom portion of the screen, allowing you to choose how many generations you would like to view, which layout you prefer, and other options to make your pedigree chart pretty or less busy, depending on your preferences. Use the other tools to find a certain person on your tree, navigate which view you are seeing, or print a copy of your pedigree chart. Once you have added to your pedigree chart, it is automatically saved until you come back again to your account. Don't forget to enter your family member's email addresses and click the invite so that they can come and have access to your hard work. They also will enjoy adding their research to this shared family tree. Good luck and happy building!